Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Monday morning, and I've got to admit, Mondays have never felt uh, so absolutely good. Absolutely not. We are in the presence of royalty. <laughs> yeah. She is a model. She's a TV presenter, an actress, an MC, a radio personality, businesswoman, and most recently, headline actress of the first script to screen original African production to debut globally on one of the biggest streaming platforms. And having seen her talent on the number one ladies detective agency in 2008, uh, Tremors 5, Bloodlines 2015, Quantico 2000. 2015 mm. and catching you better give them my yeah. <laughs> Let's drop all the give them facts. Give them my resume. Straight facts. Receipts. Ah, uh, listen, receipts. we have no doubt yeah, that her I latest... feel good. It's <laughs> going to be amazing. <laughs> listen, and we're here to talk about it one more time. Espresso family, Mzanzi all over the place. <laughs> Pearl Tusi is in the house. Oh, yeah. Celebrate. Mama. You Mama. late. And then, I you love late. How, I love how the crew gets involved. It's cool. <laughs> 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 family. Welcome, welcome, Thank welcome. Thank you so much. I don't know how many times I've been to the morning. Uh... But it's so it feels really good to be here. It is a feel good breakfast show. Well oh. done, guys. Well done. Oh, very, thank you. Very thank you very much. All right, let's talk about what you have been up to because it's it's been absolutely incredible watching your your meteoric rise mm. to now intergalactic superstar. I don't want to call mm. it that. <laughs> but I mean, uh, you, you filmed on location in thirty seven different locations for Queen Sona that we're looking at right now, um, and. Uh, Luis Ogola actually just tweeted about it, I think, yesterday. Mm. He's losing his mind yeah. about this show. Absolutely yeah. loving it. Uh, how was the experience and how did this come about for you? Oh, wow. This came about of like a... Just for me at a worm, I was like, I want to start making television on, start producing, whatever. Yeah. So after doing Scorpion King, I went and um, had a meeting with Kajiso. This was post-catching feelings as yeah. well. And we really enjoyed working together. He'd sometimes call me to come to Bantu Hour. No invoice, nothing. <laughs> but, <laughs> just come, but, you just know, come. but I'd get to chill with Udu Prahu, you yeah, know what oh, I mean? Yeah. And like do a little skit. He was like so much fun, you know? Anyway, um, that happened, and then I told him I want to start doing stuff that's more action, something that's got a kind of a Tomb Raider feel, like a strong woman. And you know, we grew up watching action. Like, that was probably 90% of my um, intake of, of television or media. At With the, the time. sound effects and everything. All of it, babe. <laughs> Rambo, Tonko, like all of it. Like, that was me. Like, that was my, like, my life. And I thought it was real at some stage. But anyway, so, um, so when I realized it was acting, then I was like, oh, I can do this thing maybe yeah. but anyway we had that meeting I showed him a video of me doing some stunt training for Scorpion King which was yes, in Cape Town. yes 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 so I posted that video yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the spear and I showed him the video he lost his mind then they then you know he fleshed out the show so I kind of brought a seat and then he made this beautiful story oh. around it and then um, Netflix happened to be in town when we were still shopping the idea around and they loved it and that's how we're here now. That's incredible. That's incredible. I mean, but like what I love for me is that for women, it's, an, it's a thought that you guys need to take charge of your destinies. Mm. You need to start being like to ignite the, the, the direction of where you want to go, be the captain of your ship yeah. because, and then have the right people around you. Yeah. Mm. So it, it's, it's been really, really incredible and I'm, I'm incredibly proud of the small role I played mm. um, in terms of um, the genesis of, of Queen yeah. Sono. The inception of <sighs> Queen Sono. I mean, it's such a big role. I mean, I've started watching it. It's such a big role and just the technique behind it, you know, and everything that you put in the energy, the work, is incredible to watch and to witness. Who is the Queen Sona for people that haven't started watching the show? And also, how is it different from all the other roles that you played before? Mm -hmm. Before I answer that, did you guys see us slaying on Cosmo? Like, of course. Are you going to pretend like that? Yeah. 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 We got to we 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 spice for later, later but like okay, since you want to be like that. Is this like, <laughs> no, we're going to keep that for a bit later. I feel no, like they no, weren't no, ready. They no, weren't ready. Inside the... Inside the... Queen Sono is... Queen Sono is a dynamic, incredible young woman who's very flawed. She's a typical anti-hero. For me, I always think of like a very Iron Man-esque. Uh, type situation okay. um, and as she's going on about her missions her personal life and her missions get intertwined which is also kind of like some classic spy story it's a mm. spy thriller um, and it's an exciting story where you get to see a woman who's physically strong mentally strong um, but emotionally uh, figuring out how to be capable and dealing with her mom's death, mm. if that's being forced to deal with it. I mean, there's so many layers. Like, whenever I'm asked wow. about the, the layers of the show or, or the characters themselves, it's always, like, an interesting conversation. That food smells so good, oh, my God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's always an interesting conversation because the, the characters are so multifaceted. How is she different from the other characters I've played? This was the first character, and I guess, I guess by virtue of being the lead character, you know, 
Mm. Um, it was the first time I walked off set completely satisfied wow. mm. and content that I had done everything I could do mm. and that I had... Um, Usually you're like, oh, they could have done this mm. with this mm. character or the story. Oh, they could have written this. It would have been cool to try this. This is the first time I walked away, like, ready to leave wow. yeah. the set and, and being completely satisfied with, with what I'd done and, and how far the story went. Yeah. So I hope we do have a second season because if we do, I think the first season would have been, like, just the perfect setup mm. for the second season where we really now get into the story because it's really important to set up characters and mm, story yeah. before you move on. Mm. So we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure season two is coming. Up. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, I hope so. Take us through it. Like, what has the response been? Like you said, now trending number seven in the States. Yeah, but what has sure. the response been from South Africa and internationally as well? It's been really, really great from all different types of communities, people of different shades, economic backgrounds, etc. We're number one in Nigeria, number one wow. in Canada, number one in South Africa, yeah. number two, I think, in uh, Martinique, which is like an island Little in the island. Caribbean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which was like so exciting. That's Our DOP cool. sent us that. And it's been really exciting. I think for me, I'm, I'm just very... I think because I've had a decently long career, um, maybe not as long as Graham's been long. Shout out to him. He was like one of my first TV crushes. crushes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's been really humbling. And I think for me, if, if I can achieve the goals I set out to achieve using this show, then I really have won. Yeah. Mm. Then that's when I'm really going to get excited. If, if women can see themselves in Queen, the heroes they are, even in, the, in environments that don't allow women to be heroes, mm. um, even you, my friend, even you. <laughs> A hero, <laughs> but um, in, we really aren't allowed to be heroes in the socio-economic um, environment we're in, just generally socially. And I wanted to show that Queen is flawed. She's also in. Um, a world that won't allow her to do that, but she still chooses to be the hero. Women will still nurture you. They'll still save everyone else, even though they're at the bottom of the food chain. Yeah. Wow. And for me, that's really, really powerful. And the inspiration for the character was really reflecting all the women around me, all the women on this continent, and showing them who they are as well that they might not see, mm. which I thought was really important. Wow. I love the fact that you touch on the fact that, you know, as women, especially as black women, we are at the bottom of the food chain, and also the systems put in place are place to work against us. So U Queen is just a representation of the fact that you can go above and beyond, you mm. know? You can do it. Demonic. And it's reflected in you. So we truly appreciate this offering that you have for us. Thank yeah. you so it's much, It's amazing. Guys. And you making the time to be here. Mm. You know, yeah. Just, just to share this with us. I think early, if, if there was ever really a oh, Monday and motivation that you Shout needed. out to Imprint. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, we, we're going to talk about all that as well. They we need, need, you guys really need to watch Queen Sona, not just yeah. because I'm in it. <laughs> but it should be the last reason you watch it, really. But the story is a really powerful story. It shares the power of legacy. We touch on so many... Uh, political issues of the continent and oh. the country oh. um, and then it's just kind of around the spy thriller thing there's some iconic shots in there some really iconic actors um, people are going to have... My daughter loved it. Mm. She wasn't supposed to watch it without me. <laughs> I got back... I went and slept at the hotel. I got back home and she was like, I finished watching all of it. I think oh she's watched it goodness. three times. What? She's like, I almost know all the lines now. And I'm just like, what? Ma'am. I tell you what, we have so much more to unpack with regards to you and what you're doing. And this just it's, it's a wonderful Monday morning of mm. inspiration. So make sure that you keep it locked on your Feel Good Breakfast show. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back on the Let other side. Ah. 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 